Ooh, responsive. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2022 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with this Ridgeline. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get right into the video. So under the hood, we have a Natchi aspirated 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. It's good for 280 horsepower and then 262 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 18 around town and then 24 on the highway. Now let's go over the front end of the black edition. First off, we're gonna focus on the lights because they are timed. That's something that Honda does. So they'll pop off. Now it's got the projector bulb with the accent light, which popped off and looks fantastic. Now the white paint does hide the body lines a little bit, but once you zoom out, it looks fantastic because you got the blacked out grill and then everything else has been blacked out down below. And notice you've got the regular Honda logo that doubles as a sensor black edition logo right there and then notice how obviously this trim is blacked out but inside the light it's also darkened and then down below we've got some venting off to the side we've got that for the turn signal and then that for the well that's the fog light but anyways there's a black edition there's a regular ridge line so you guys can kind of get a feel for you know the differences now coming on the side here, we've got two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then notice how the wheel itself is all blacked out. Again, part of that black edition package. And here's a quick look at the front suspension. There's the tire. Notice how the plastic molding goes all the way around and down the side. The mirror has also been blacked out. Notice the window trim also blacked out. And the trim here, blacked out. Whoa, it's almost like this is a uh, black edition package or something like that. But anyways, there's your full side view. I think this thing looks killer from the side. Something else I want to mention is we have a rear wheelhouse liner here, which I'm a huge fan of because I own trucks myself and this makes cleanup a whole lot easier. So I, I would do two thumbs up, but one's holding the camera. Thanks, Honda. Now here's our key fob. We got the Honda logo on the back. Notice we've got our unlocked lock remote start as well. And let's pop here into the bed. So you do have to hold this down. If you guys are wondering, it's not dampened or anything like that. We have a payload capacity of 1,477 pounds here at the Ridgeline. Notice we have the protection here from the factory. Definitely nice. You don't have to worry about scraping, you know, a painted bed or something like that. So I, I'm glad that Honda does things this way. Um, but you guys can see the bed is definitely spacious. And we obviously have to go over the big party trick of the Ridgeline, which is the fact that the tailgate pops open like that. And then... You can see that, and that's, that's very light, by the way. Um, and notice we have LED lights here on either side, and this is deep. This is like lots of storage space. There also is a spare tire. It's got that new car smell underneath. Very cool, but anyways, that is all. Now finishing things here in the rear, notice we've got the taillights here. Got our all-wheel drive badge, or Ridgeline badge. Notice we have the dual exhaust tips here at the bottom. Towing capacity, 5,000 pounds. Wow, that's a lot for a truck SUV thing, whatever you wanna call it. But anyways, that's all for the back. I was gonna just open up this door, but I noticed that this is also blacked out because look at the regular Ridgeline and look at this Ridgeline. You, the guy she tells you not to worry about. Anyways, oh, it's locked, of course. And it's still locked, of course. I'm gonna leave this in the video because you know what? Voila. So here's the door panel in the rear. Notice we've got the leather here with all of the stitching. Got the gigantic cup holder. I guess this could be a phone holder or something. Cool. I love the seats and the lighting really shows it. So you got the black leather with the red stitching and then notice the red perforations. Looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. But let's pop in. There's legroom. There's headroom. We've got some vents back here. Sorry about the lighting. It is kind of dark. Notice we've got some USBs off to the side. And also, woo, pulls down to be some cup holders and an armrest. And again, that red stitching continues. Let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. So again, you've got the leather with the red stitching, all of our window controls, memory seat function. That's for the gas cap release, your traditional mirror. And notice here at the seats, again, with the black leather red stitching black edition logo and then the perforations that have the red in them that look fantastic they are power adjustable pedal layout down below and then we've got a bunch a bunch a bunch of controls here so parking sensors lane departure stability control collision assistance cargo light windshield wiper that is for the power outlet eco mode mirror adjustment lots happening let's pop in
Here is the steering wheel with the black edition. You got really nice leather at the top and at the bottom and then really nice perfect leather here on the side. Good gravy. Notice that we've got the red stitching right there. You've got your adaptive cruise control, your steering assistance. We've got our pages, button, phone controls, heated steering wheel button off to the con or off to the side rather. You've got the paddle shifter for that nine speed automatic. We've got our turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock, and that's all for that steering wheel. Here is the center screen right here or center gauge cluster rather, not center screen. That's the center screen. Anyways, you got RPMs there. You've got the temperature, you've got the fuel. And again, we've got the econ mode, which you can pop on and off. And then we also have our drive mode. So we got our normal, snow, mud, sand, intelligent traction management. It's part of the all wheel drive system and everything. And so yeah, that's all for that. Well, we've got the navigation right here. So you guys can see that fun stuff. And then you can see here for the infotainment system and notice it's red. Um, that's kind of what Honda does for their performance vehicles, but also for the black edition. I love that because again, it matches the red accents here with the interior. And speaking of infotainment system, let's pop into reverse. Got a backup camera that turns with the trajectory lines and then you got the different viewpoints there with the camera itself. And yeah, that's all. Now we've got dual zone climate here in the ridge line. And then notice we have heated seats here for the front. Got our extra storage space. Uh, wireless phone charger, wow. And then notice we've got the outlets here and we've got our transmission selector. That's your drive mode select. Your auto stop start, cup holders. Look at that red ambient lighting. It's almost like it matches the rest of the accents. Hmm. Anyways, open that up. Decent amount of storage space. There's more charging ports. And I love the coloration on that. Tasty. Got the glove box and then notice the black trim continues all along there. And then there's some nice stitching here on the dash. And well, the center's already open because I need more light because it's dark and my camera's, you know, kind of not liking it. Power setting window, definitely a huge positive. And then the center of control, we're gonna leave that open for lighting purposes. Um, and then also it's got a darker headliner, which you can't see because it's so dark. So uh, maybe, maybe that already told you that. I don't know, I'm done. Tons of glare. So you can't see anything. Anyways, total MSRP, $45,940. Wait for it. Wait a little bit longer. Let's take her out, see how she drives. Also, while we're at it, since it's darker, oh, of course, I was gonna show you guys the lights. Actually, no, we'll just pop them back on again. I know we already saw this earlier, but since it's darker, I need you guys to be able to uh, appreciate the lights with me. So I guess this is a partial nighttime review because, well, Ben Hardy's working hard. Look at those lights. That looks pretty cool. And then I'll pop over so you guys can see the taillights. Do, do, do. Please don't pop off so we can show you in the video. That looks good. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. There's your visibility of the hood. Both of the mirrors, which uh, that one's tilted down. Good mirror. And then through the other mirror, which is also slightly tilted down. Also good mirror. There's the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So we are setting off here in the Ridgeline Black Edition. I love the steering wheel. Just going to say that right off the bat. Perfect. Honda did a really good job. The smooth leather with the perfect leather just feels nice in your hands. But actually setting off. From a ride quality perspective, because this is unibody and not a real truck, it rides very smooth, right? It, it rides like an SUV, rides like a car. So that's a huge plus to the Ridgeline is if you hate how trucks drive, then this does not do normal truck stuff, even though it has a truck bed. It does do normal truck stuff, but also it doesn't ride like a normal truck. Hopefully that makes sense. It makes sense if you don't think about it. But anyways, continuing along, very quiet here in the interior, really comfortable, just uh, really solid with everything. And definitely like the feel of V6 so far with that nine speed automatic. Um, we'll kind of see how this is. Oh, of course we ran into the uh, worst possible amount of traffic ever. So continuing along here in the ridge line, gonna kind of partially get up here. Yeah, definitely good torque from that V6. That is solid for sure. There isn't a sport mode or anything like that. Oh, actually there is. Hello sport mode, just press the S. It's almost like I kind of review cars. Ooh, responsive. Smooth. Yeah, definitely way more responsive in the S mode versus the uh, just regular D mode for drive. Um, so yeah, acceleration is solid for a mid-sized truck SUV thing, whatever you want to call this. Does a really good job. Now, 
aside from that, let's get into setting things up and let's give this Ridgeline a score. So first off, exterior wise, I think the Black Edition looks fantastic. Such a good looking truck. Ooh, definitely hits the spot. Interior wise, I'm actually a fan. I love the little red on the seats with the perforations and then obviously with the stitching, I think that looks great. And then from a driving characteristic perspective, yes, it has a truck bed, but it does not drive like a truck. It is a lot smoother, a lot more comfortable. Um, you just you just don't have to give up normal truck concessions with the Ridgeline. So that is definitely a huge positive. Moving on from that, we obviously have to give the Ridgeline a score. So this truck's hard for me to score because it is like the size of a mid-sized truck, like, you know, a Colorado or a Ford Ranger, but it's not body and frame like it's competition. And so it's it's kind of, it's, it's super unique. It's all wheel drive. None of those are all wheel drive. Those are all four by four. So there's a difference. Um, so, and, and then you have the new Ford Maverick and Santa Cruz, which those are unibody. So then it's kind of like, does this compete against a Ford Ranger or does it compete against a Maverick and a Santa Cruz? It's bigger than those though. So like, it's kind of all over the place. It's almost like in a category all of its own. So I guess here's what I'm gonna say. If you want mid-sized truck capability and size, but you don't want mid-sized truck ride quality, you want something that's smoother, Ridgeline. So that's the score. Now let's get some things up for our video on this 2022 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with this Ridgeline. Check out their intro link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.